Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we'll be doing uh, fractal painting with our gloss enamel paints. And I've got a uh, light yellow, kind of a medium blue, white, and then a darker blue. And today I'm gonna try to avoid the mistake that I normally kind of fall into, the trap that I fall into of uh, not painting my background and then having a white canvas kind of show through the paint. So today we're actually going to paint our background. Um, so we're going to use this light blue here and we're going to just kind of spread it out and paint our background so that uh, we don't have this kind of glaring white canvas coming through uh, in the back. So I'm going to start kind of spreading this out real thin and if I have to I'll throw a little bit of water on it which it looks like it might need just a, just a small amount. <laughs> it actually looks pretty cool already um, and there are people who do these very simple abstract paintings just kind of like this where it's you know it's uh, just a few brush strokes you know to me um, I, I can't really pull off minimalist paintings like that uh, I don't know what it is I guess I just feel that the painting is incomplete and this is why almost all my paintings are you know painted all the way around or from end to end because I just, you know, I just, uh, I don't know, I can't pull off a, a minimalist painting, I guess. I, I just feel it's not complete, but that's just me um, and kind of where I am. But, you know, maybe you can pull those off. You know, there are, uh, if you look up, you know, minimalist abstract paintings, there's some very cool techniques and and types of paintings that you could do, even, you know, with something like this, how, um, you know, if you painted like maybe the background white first and then went over it with another color where it was just kind of simple brush strokes kind of stacked on top of each other, um, that would actually probably look pretty cool. And, uh, you know, and then you could spray it with a little bit of water like I did and get some little drops in there. Um, so, uh, you know, it's just an idea. You definitely can do whatever kind of painting you want to do. Uh, there's a lot of great techniques out there, a lot of, um, very cool, uh, you know, methods to, to try out there, regardless of who it is or, or what it is that you're trying to do. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's kind of doing something similar that you can kind of learn from. All right, so now we've got this covered. Looks pretty good. It's drying out as I'm, as I'm doing it, so just kind of cover this up. I think we're kind of good there. Okay, so this paint's pretty much already dry. It's a little wet, but that's okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of put that there. All right, so let's kind of put this sponge brush in the water, and we will add our paints. So we're going to go ahead and do three little pockets of each color. I'm going to do that kind of a little triangle here of yellow. Then move on to our uh, medium blue. This is actually a really good blue. I like this color. It's kind of a, it's like waves almost, right? Um, just, a, just a solid, solid looking color, I think. And we'll add our white. And just a little bit there and then finally our dark blue it almost looks like black which is kind of uh, intentional I wanted to have like a darker color to balance out the white so I think we got that there's a little kind of thing uh, piece of skin if you will in the paint so let's get rid of that all right now that we've got there on that got that on there uh, we can go ahead and start, you know, moving this paint around. Now, I thought about using plastic today, but I think that I'll actually use uh, one of my um, trowels. So, let's see if I can get it out of this, this bucket here. Um, that's actually a little too big for this. So, I'm going to use some corrugated plastic. I lied to you, I'm sorry. Uh, so we're going to use a little piece of corrugated plastic to kind of move this around. 
And if it doesn't give us the effect that we want, I've got some plastic wrap here that we can kind of use instead. So we're just going to start kind of pulling this paint out. And uh, I can tell you right now that this is not enough uh, paint. So I'm actually going to add a little bit more. The only way that I can kind of tell that it's not enough is just because of how much coverage uh, it's giving me when I start to kind of move it around. Since it wasn't really spreading out much, um, that meant that we weren't going to get a lot of movement out of it. So I'm just going to add a little bit more and then we'll try again. All right, so now that we've got that, we're going to kind of crush this paint here. And we're going to move it around. Now the only, I guess, downside is that this, you know, this this is moving. Um, and I think it's because of the, the weight of this plastic. So it's probably not, not going to work, unfortunately. So I'll go ahead and switch to the plastic wrap, which is a little uh, lighter. And hopefully it won't pick up those paints as much so we can yeah it's going to do it in the corner unfortunately it's one of the reasons that i tape my paintings down when i do this is because of the, the movement so now we're just going to you know continue to pick up the paint and move around and we're already getting some pretty cool effects if i do say so myself I like the little starburst uh, patterns that these kind of paintings give. It's one of the reasons I continue to do them. Not only because I just kind of found the technique, um, you know, messing around and, and I've kind of been a fan of it since, but because of the effect that it gives, it makes these really, really dynamic paintings um, that I've just never really seen before. So here we're just trying to kind of move the paint um, around. So we're kind of picking up paint in one area and moving it to another. Let's see if we can kind of get that moved out there. And we're, we're trying to pick it, pick it up straight when we do this. here so I'm going to kind of bring some of this blue out to other areas. Yeah we've got a lot of kind of dynamic colors going on here at the bottom. The white is actually really kind of pulling some of these other colors out. That's pretty cool. Actually it looks pretty good. I really want to move some of this yellow. There we go. Right, so we're going to rotate the plastic to give us a clean side. And I'm going to move some of this white down here. Then we're going to take some of these areas of a lot of paint and just kind of move those. And I think we're almost done. Just gonna make sure that we kind of filled in some of these gaps here. Move some of this white over here. Move this yellow around. All right, we do have a little bit of uh, imbalance here with the paint. There's a lot of areas over here where there's a lot of paint. Um, it's very heavy on paint. So I'm just trying to balance the painting out right now. So I'm kind of moving some of these areas 
of heavy paint to the areas where there isn't a lot. And that's really all this painting style is. It's just kind of moving paint around. Hope your day was going good today. Uh, today was actually my, you know, my kids' is kind of graduation. So my youngest daughter actually just graduated um, kindergarten. So that was pretty, uh, it was pretty exciting today. She was very happy, very happy and proud of her. You know, and, and it's cool because the school actually did like a thing where you could drive up and, you know, take a picture with the teachers and then you had to get back in your car, which, you know, it's a little unfortunate. Um, kind of that a lot of kids kind of got robbed of their, you know, graduations, high school, college, um, you know, kindergarten. And it, it is a little unfortunate, you know, that we kind of had to deal with that this year. But overall, I, I think it kind of illustrates something that, you know, how much we take for granted, just even going out in public and, and being around other people, you know, we kind of take that for granted, I think. And, you know, this whole time of, you know, the pandemic and stuff has really, I think, kind of shown, um, you know, just a lot of things that we, you know, don't normally think about are kind of a big deal. So, you know, but otherwise, it was, it was a good, uh, she had a good day. And we were very happy. And some of our other kids, you know, just moved up to the next grade. So, you know how that is if you have kids. Like, you're kind of excited and, you know, you're happy for them. But you can't wait till they go back to school because they've already been home for two months. So, it is what it is. Um, but ultimately, guys, this painting is pretty much done. I'm just uh, looking for any areas where I can kind of maybe balance it out a little bit. Maybe taking some of the yellow and kind of moving it over here just to just to give it a little life over here. And we've got some good white coverage here. Um, I think that gives it a lot of contrast. And I'm really into contrast, so I think that's really good. Um, and just giving it one last overlook. And I would say that we're done here. Uh, overall, phenomenal painting. I'm actually very happy with it, uh, which is kind of rare because I always find something wrong with my paintings. Uh, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But uh, no, this uh, this was a, a good one, guys. Um, I think we kind of hit a home run on this. Uh, so let's take a look. Maybe a thumbnail here. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Get a close-up. A lot. Okay, so right off the bat, I really like the bottom. Um, the top here is cool. It does have a really heavy influx of light blue there. Um, I'm not going to mess with it. I kind of, I feel like it, it kind of gives a character. But there's a lot of uh, distortion at the bottom. So I really like the bottom because there's a lot of um, overlapping colors and a lot of mixture. And I think that that goes really well. Um, the top is a little more solid heavy. So there's not as much like distortion. It's more kind of centered. Um, and that's okay too. It, it really gives the piece kind of a unique feel because it's not the same on bottom as it is top. So overall, not a bad uh, piece. And, and I think the colors go really well. I think the black actually would have been too much. So having a dark blue, I feel like um, really, really kind of centers it. And literally it's almost in the center. Um, but yeah, overall, a uh, solid piece. And I'm really happy with it. So, you know, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or morning, whatever time it is that you're watching this. And, uh, you know, I will see you guys in the next one. So take care. God bless and see you then. Bye, guys.